Okay, so welcome back. Um, batteries. Uh, if you're anything like me, you consider batteries to be a necessary evil and a huge annoyance, right? Um, there are so many different batteries you need in your house. Uh, you don't know the status. Are they dead? Are they alive? Um, and they're always, you know, dying when you need them. And then you've got to find replacements. And if you don't have rechargeables, you've got to go out and buy them. Just a constant, constant annoyance. So I was looking around for a way to uh, make that a little bit better. So the challenge is this. Uh, I went through and looked at some of the batteries I need for the equipment in my house. And when you think about it, there's a lot of different types of batteries you need. Here are just some of the ones I need. I've got triple A's, double A's, nine volts, C cells. I also need D cells. And then occasionally you come upon these strange batteries. This was in a portable light, unmarked. I don't know what to do with it. Um, I just throw it out because you can't, don't know how to charge it and anything else. So the problem is you need them for smoke detectors. You need them for meters. If you're doing electronics, you need them for meters. You need them for flashlights. If you have uh, radio controlled equipment, you need tons of batteries for radio controlled equipment. You need it for flashlights. The list goes on and on and on. Um, again, I made a list of all the ones I need, and I need about 40 total batteries for all the equipment in my house. And managing all of that, and what's worse is you don't know the status of your batteries. You don't know if they're good or if they're dead. You know, if they've been sitting around for five years. Um, and you know, when your, your smoke alarm starts chirping because the battery's dead, um, what are you going to do? you got to find a battery that's good and you don't know if they're good. So uh, what I did is I tried to find a charger that will hopefully help a little bit. And what I did is I found a universal battery charger and this is it. And this is by Bonai. Uh, again, I assume it's a Chinese company. And it will charge just about all of these. Okay, um, of course, not the special one, but it'll charge C cells, it'll charge D cells, double A's, triple A's, but these um, coin cells, it's not going to touch. So, but basically, most of these batteries can be charged by this battery charger, and it's a fairly inexpensive device, and you just plug it into the wall, and you can charge multiple batteries. So, for example, um, say I want to charge my C cells. All I do is I put them in here like this, plug it in, and you can see I get a um, LCD display that shows it's charging. All right, so really nice, and it will charge. And when you get these full bars, that means they're totally charged, and it puts it into trickle charge mode. And it's also got a discharger. Down here, you press this button, it will fully discharge, and then you can recharge them. So it works on like C cells. I can take out the C cells and I can put in triple A's in the exact same spot, and it will charge those. Okay, and you can see they're almost charged. Uh, I can also put in 9 volts. I plug those in here in the different slot, and you can charge um, two 9 volts simultaneously. And what happens, these red lights go on while it's charging, and they go out when they're fully charged. So, again, it's a nice option. The problem is you've got to make sure you've got um, rechargeable batteries um, for your AA's, your AAA's, your C's, your D's, and all of those. So... Anyway, um, just a thought to consider if you want to help yourself a little bit with um, uh, battery charging and managing your batteries. So anyway, hope that helps. Take care and have a really good day. Thanks.